So, we are live again, back for the final stage of this build. So, uh, let's uh, see if we'll, people will join. So, uh, no people yet. Let's say hi to everyone. That's not joined. <laughs> Let's wait for some people because we need to finish this Volvo dump truck. And we are now on stage four that we need to get all the bags with the fours. And we're gonna make this big uh, bucket. So, let's see. Do I have everything? It's the last package. So everything will be yellow uh, this uh, stream and I have one person watching so let me know <laughs> if the sound and the video is working so uh, let's open the packages. Oh two people watching one people one person left. <laughs> So, it always takes some time for people to join. So I can unpack everything. So, uh, welcome by the stream. And my stream is showing up like in 240p. <laughs> Not sure why that is. <laughs> uh, oh, 144p even. That's really sh sh Oh, two people watching. So, uh, hi, welcome to uh, the probably the last stream of the build of this uh, Lego model. So uh, let me know if everything is working. Ah, hey Uncle Joe, how are you? Welcome back. So we're gonna do the last part. Is the audio and video working? And so much yellow parts on the table. <laughs> so uh, let's sort them out. Well, we wait on some more people to join and have a conversation. So, that's a lot of yellow bricks in this, uh, in this set. Hi, J.M. Boyd. How are you doing? Ah, good, good. Still on my first cup of coffee. But now it's, do you like iced coffee? <laughs> if it's still the same cup. So much panels. This is a pretty awesome part. Because if you put it like this, you have a square panel again. So you can really make different kind of models uh, with parts can't complain good good <laughs> so yeah the I think this step must be pretty easy to do because all the parts are pretty big the only the small parts are the pins so let's sort out all the parts on size then we can do a, a uh, much faster build up so we don't have to look for all the tiny parts and these are the really cool cylinders because if you put a motor on it they extend so 
and they are pretty long and they are also super strong <laughs> about to make a fresh cup yeah I think that's a wise decision to do so we have two of those cylinders and so many panels here a pile of those okay that's a lot of yellow I think I'm ready to start. So, for now, we have the chassis uh, done with the gearbox and the axles and this mechanism for the cylinders. And the whole cabin is done. And uh, you can even open the bonnet if you want to. The steering wheel turns if you turn the model. It has six wheel drive. It can uh, flex here a bit and, of course, steer. So, uh, Let's continue with the build. So let's keep, get the book uh, closer by. Okay. Oh, we also, of course, need the wheels. But I think I'm gonna put them uh, in the end on the model. Awesome. We uh, will start with the cylinders and two short red axles and this piece and this piece so this makes the flexible joint uh, on the bucket here So let's see where it goes now for red pins. Get the truck closer. Okay, we need to put them in like this and push in the pins. And the other side I really like it that you have now the actuators uh, together also with the permatic system so you have some options what you want to do awesome <laughs> let's uh, Put a temporary axle uh, between them. <laughs> so because we're gonna build a big bucket. Let's get the truck out of the way. Because this is a pretty big thing to uh, assemble. So probably start with the floor and a lot of pins Okay, that one is done. Then we take two wings. 
or one wing to black finch. Uh, yeah, this piece. Ah, nine people watching and only three likes. So l l hit that like button. <laughs> I'll pin here and then this piece go on here and then it goes here on the side and now we're gonna build the other side I think the truck will become massive with the bucket on. So Okay, this big piece pins this yellow part. Let's see where it goes. Oh, it goes on here. There's probably the somewhere here, I think. <laughs> Not sure yet. Or or this is the f no no. We will see. An angled arm. Three pins, one long pin with an axle on it. Okay, like this, then a uh, wing piece. with a pin and another wing piece that goes here so we really need make a panel and what I like about this is that you just have many options to uh, build it because they also could just give you this kind of panels but then you don't have the angled panel so it's more uh, more possibilities to play with. Hi Tom. <laughs> what is your job if you can spend the whole day building Legos? My my job is truck driver and I took uh, three weeks of work because I had uh, days over from last year. So I bought this uh, set yesterday and uh, I'm trying to finish it now in this live stream. <laughs> Otherwise it would take way too long. But a set like this I think I will 12 hours for building it is pretty normal but probably if I built it offline I could build it like way faster like in 8 hours Yes, it needs to go in like this. 
it's always a puzzle how how to get it together. <laughs> so much free days. Yeah, you get a lot of free days if you decide, oh, I can't do anything, so let's just work. Because there's nothing else I can do. <laughs> and now the weather outside is also terrible and I'm waiting on parts for my Unimog, so I can't build on that one. So a Lego set is nice to... Uh, to have fun with for now and I uh, I'm an experienced Lego builder I had I have a lot of Lego in the attic it's just uh, it's really fun Lego okay that uh, makes sense as a nice uh, is I think this is the front part, to be honest. Next step. Um. Hey, uh, Kaioling uh, Technologies, how are you doing? Nice to see you here. Is it already a little bit better time in the US now for the for a stream? <laughs> mm. Let's see where the pins need to go. But so far we didn't make much mistakes, but we still need to power up the motor. So, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I maybe have a pro. If if I uh, uh, mess something up, I might need to take out, uh, take down half of the model to fix it. So uh, let's hope it all just works. Yes, it's Victor Bart live time again. Life is so nice. <laughs> yeah, I was when I bought it. I was thinking, let's do something else on my channel and just live stream the whole build of this Lego model and chat with you. So feel free to ask questions or discuss things. Uh, it can be about anything you want: life, uh, computers, Unimogs, dump trucks. Say it and uh, we can uh, talk about it. Ah, nice, nice. It's it's taking shape. <laughs> Victor Bart's Lego Machines channel confirmed. To be honest, this channel started more as a Lego channel than an old computer channel. So if you look on my channel in the on the older videos, you can find some uh, really cool Lego videos. Hi Brittany, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> the the life of uh, watching Victor play with Lego. That's a good life. I like this uh, shape so far. It's uh, already uh, pretty sturdy. So let's see what else we need. 
more pins. <laughs> so many pins. There will be a day in my life that I will kick out all the computers from this room and just turn it back into a Lego room. Yeah, someday that will probably happen. <laughs> Do you think someday you build your own home out of Lego? No, the home where I live is not that interesting to rebuild it in Lego. And it is an, a block of seven, eight houses, so yeah, then you need to build it all. Yeah, I have three weeks of uh, of my work because I had enough days, so uh, I took them all <laughs> in one go without any interruptions. So that is always nice. So, uh, two uh, black pins here, one of those, one of those with an angle, and two blue pins. <laughs> yeah, James may uh, build a house out of Lego, but such projects always just turn in one big blob of of bricks and not really a super interesting structure so it's always a little bit disappointing you could do so much better with lego if you have more time and more blocks and <laughs> it, yeah most times they have enough blocks, but it's just an, a boring structure. Okay, I think this is the front of the bucket. And this is the first rib. Where everything, where the other things are connecting. Ah yes, this bar is here, yeah. Oh, and we need to make this one for the other side. All the people watching my stream while working. I uh, think I will never tell your boss, uh, Uncle Joe. <laughs> it will keep a secret. So much pins uh, in this model. <laughs> Same here, keep me smiling. <laughs> I'm working just have Victor on to keep me smiling. Yes, yeah, smiling at your job is a good thing uh, to do. And if you work for a boss and you uh, smile, even if you fake smile when he is around you, he will be happier with you. <laughs> if you look always grumpy, he will think, oh, then you have the grumpy guy again. But the one fun thing about uh, this model, if you're building it with, uh, like if you have kids or with friends, because you have uh, different sets of, uh, uh, different sets of bags with parts, one person can already start with like the second set and build parts for it, or 
but then you need to download the manual also on a tablet so you can build it together if you want because this bucket you can already build it before you build the rest of the truck okay we need to put the side walls on like this Yes, this is correct. <laughs> uh, two black pins, one big frame. I think the bucket is the easiest part of the build. Because the care box was pretty complicated. Hey Victor, uh, did you say your day job is in video production? No, I'm a, I'm just a truck driver. <laughs> so completely something different than uh, technology. Let's see where this part goes, probably on here. Yes, that looks nice. So let's build the other side here. So it's <laughs> it's building everything twice, but mirrored. But we are on page three hundred and forty six, and we have. Three or oh no, four hundred and thirty eight uh, pages. So we are on our way. <laughs> so someday uh, I will finish this uh, <laughs> Lego set. Ah, yeah, me, me, I, I said it several times uh, in the live stream. Because not many people uh, know it about me. That's a cool bucket. So. It will be really massive. Awesome. And that's why you have the white uh, mirrors. So, let's see, next step, two angled pieces that goes here. And on six pins. Wow, life again. Good progress, I see. Yes, uh, the truck really looks like a truck uh, right now. And I'm now building the bucket. So we uh, will f probably finish it in this uh, live stream. So uh, we it took four live streams probably to uh, complete it. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm also working with Victor in the background to keep <laughs> to keep company, but I'm building optical D M or D W D M routes. <laughs> Never heard of those. <laughs> But I'm not really in like the, the latest and greatest technology. That's why I do a retro channel and not make videos about the latest stuff. <laughs> okay, the bucket uh, gets really strong right now. And we need to have two wings. One bar like this to, to pinch and two of those yellow thingies that are super hard to uh, use Okay, now we close up the front of the bucket. And next page. Oh, now we need to have a long one. Uh, yeah, the monetization of my channel is completely broken, so I'm not sure if I ever have the opportunity to fix it because YouTube is really cutting it off if they think something goes wrong, so that's not working, uh, the super chat. But if you like to support me, the best way is support me on Patreon. And if you support me on Patreon for one dollar a month, you can join my uh, awesome uh, Discord server. So if you uh, want to join and uh, uh, come uh, uh, chat on the server, please uh, follow the links in the description. That would be really appreciated. But of course it's not necessary, just watching here is also uh, really awesome. Because YouTube is not my uh, my uh, daily income, I'm, I just have my normal job of course. But Patreon is the best way to support me. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> and even more pins. Let's see, one of those and one of those. So we're gonna build the rest of the floor. Like this. Then we take one of these, some pins, Unky Joe, uh, did you get uh, the Discord uh, chatting already working? You had some problems uh, with it on my uh, server and I see that you're in the list but you haven't chatted uh, yet. So if is it uh, not working yet? Only Linus has daily income from YouTube. Now more people have it because 
if you do sponsor deals, uh, like I now do with uh, PCB Ways, you get some money for it. And the sponsor deals with Linus Tech Tips uh, cost a lot of money for companies, and that's why he pays. Uh, that's what pays all his employees. But other people that do uh, sponsored content will, or at a uh, space will have a decent income. But only from YouTube, the income is not that high. But if you have like so some good sponsor deals, you can make some really good money. So let's see where this goes. Oh, on this spot. Oh, I built it wrong. <laughs> Just joined your Discord. Oh, awesome. Thank you. That's really appreciated. Uh, after the live stream, I will, uh, if you join also the Discord, I will uh, uh, put your in the member list. And But you can already chat there, so. <laughs> Do you pick me up with your new truck instead of your Volvo V70 right now? Yeah, if you can fit in the bucket that I'm building, uh, this truck will uh, get you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Unimog. I mean, everywhere where this truck can go, I think my Unimog will also, uh, also go. But this one has even bigger tires. This is really a monster truck, so... Let's see where this will go on. Ah, like this. So. And probably the next step will be putting a piece here. But, let's see. Oh, we're gonna build probably this side first. pins this piece so what do what cars do you all uh, drive I uh, drive a Volvo V70 station because it's a cool car. But what do you uh, drive? Do you uh, drive an old truck or old uh, old car or new car? My my car is from 2000, and it's a V70 Classic. And I don't want to drive electric because I'm parked on the street, so it's really hard to power <laughs> your your uh, car uh, <laughs> to uh, charge it and also I just want to fill it up with with fuel and co and not find a charge point a Peugeot 206 from 2002 with 312,000 on the counter a uh, mine has now 366,000 on the counter so, but from Volvo, that is just normal. They are made for long, uh, long uh, distance traveling and uh, long drives. Let's see. <laughs> I also I built this one wrong. So let's fix it. Yeah, it just passes three six 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 six. Uh. 
and one day when I hit it, uh, all the trees, uh, I also did reset the uh, the the date counter. So that was also on three three three, and then I was just driving through a residential area, so it was easy to stop anywhere <laughs> to get a photo of all the trees on the dashboard. Because you can't do that on the highway. <laughs> Ah, nice. We're going to put the uh, panels here in the bucket. Okay, next step. That's a lot of parts that I need to collect. Six axles. Eight axle joiners. And two of those. Hi, M MSX. Uh how are you doing? Welcome back. We are uh, very uh, far in the build yet, and we're gonna finish it this uh, this stream. Oh, and a and a and a Golf MK6. Oh, nice. Those cars, uh, they steal them a lot, I think. <laughs> What I like about Linus Tech Tips is that he drives the the city's cars <laughs> like his uh, pink Honda, and he just don't care about it. <laughs> that that shows him that he is not after the money, but just after making the best content he wants. A 2019 car that is pretty modern I'm not sure if I will ever buy a new car I think it's just way too expensive for what you get of course you have a new car and then <laughs> I would rather just buy an old used car and drive around in that I mean uh, I think it's now two years, uh, almost two years ago, in a storm, uh, a big tree uh, a branch fell onto my roof and a street light f uh, fell over where I drove over it and my Volvo survived and there's just, if you, it's hard to see but there's even a dent in the roof because it hit my uh, roof uh, rack. Uh, side rails so if it was a new car then you said oh no my new car is damaged and now it's the roof is not leaking you almost can't see it so it's a scar and just continue instead of uh, making a huge problem of it and to get it repaired and repainted so yeah an, an old car is it's just good for your, just good to use. Uh. Oh, Ford Ranger pickup. That's a nice one. That is, uh, that's so cool in the US that all the pickups and the big cars. Uh, 
it's it's just uh, fun to see them. And if I had the money, I would like to get a Toyota Land Cruiser, <laughs> but they they are just so expensive. And diesel uh, engines are a little bit hard if you want to go into a city right now. I don't mind to uh, that my Unimog is a diesel because I don't have plans to go into a city. But for my daily car, it's just better that you can go into a city. The parts uh, are shrinking. Uh. Will you come to the US? Yeah, I think I will go to the US someday because my friend uh, Ross is there and I want to visit uh, Dookie Rick, another friend, and they live uh, like close enough together that it is possible to visit them both. I think it's one day or a, li a little bit less than a day driving. And if I am in the US, I might see if I can visit some more people and just like do a tour of visiting people that I know from the internet. I think that that would be such a great experience that not many people will uh, will uh, try so yeah what do you think of an Abit BP6 with dual celeron I like that uh, system but I also have like the dual Pentium 3 systems so they now the systems are less of a priority the bp 6s are less of a priority for me but i have some builds with it <laughs> i got this code wor working i'm so proud of myself awesome so uh, it's easy uh, to send uh, messages back and forward so uh, yeah we uh, we will try it after the after the stream if it all works and another part on the bucket. They did a great job that it's really a pretty close box. So I can uh, uh, transport a network gear in it and RJ45 plugs and, <laughs> and uh, SFP modules and just dump them by my rack. Okay, to 11 bars. I'm offering up Unky, <laughs> Unky's house when you come. He has a pool. <laughs> that would be nice uh, to visit Unky Joe uh, someday. So, if it's possible, I'm uh, up for it. <laughs> Uncle Joe doesn't deal. No uh, potato uh, stuff. <laughs> yes, I still need to figure out how I want to travel in the US because. Flying is of course the easy options, but with flying you don't see that much of the country. Will you join Lego Masters next year? No. If I play with Lego, I take my time and don't want to stretch. I think it's cool to just rent out a car and just cross America 
even if it's like very long uh, driving and just uh, get sleeping places in motels if it's a two day drive and just go for it. I think that will be a really good experience. I like, uh, 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 yeah, I'm not that that big of a beer drinker, but I like the Kabouter beer. Uh, uh, I forget the name. Uh, uh, the Belgian beer. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> Stay away from large cities. Why should I? Why? Why should I stay away from large cities? Are they too crowded, or what's what? What's the problem? Too much traffic jams. And I think just drive uh, on the smaller roads is of course more fun than any any uh, uh, city roads. But I'm an experienced driver, so I don't mind a bit of uh, heavy traffic. Yeah, La Chauffe. Yeah, I like that beer. Or La Chauffe. How do you say it? Should I bother loading the Discord app or just the browser? I think the app is pretty nice. Uh, so, but the browser also works, but the app w really works well. So I would suggest check out the app. It's just more solid than the browser, I think. Nice, the front part of the bucket is uh, done. And this is so, uh, the sand won't fall over here and it's pretty sturdy now we need this part and this Yes, if I go to the US, I also want to see like the the the, si the the areas around the cities because New York and stuff like that you can always see and always easily travel to. But the the rest of the country, I think that's just more interesting to to meet uh, people there and see the interesting uh, figures uh, walking around. And staying away from any city with protests and stuff, political uh, issues, because that's just not fun on holiday. Yeah, rent a car and drive. I think that is a good option. Or have friends uh, bring me uh, like a way up uh, or there are so much possibilities. But just renting and uh, using your credit card, I think you can get a really far. But what are not like the, the, the nicer cars to rent in the US? Because I don't want to, to rent a Kia in the US. I mean, 
that you can you can also drive them here and i i want a, like a bit more uh interesting car or more yeah more a bit better car than just a simple fuel efficient <laughs> asian uh, model because i mean the us then so i need to travel in style but maybe a big pickup is also really expensive to rent a very big car a oh, Ford mid-size SUV yeah that is yeah some something yeah something bigger I think and then just if if you are already on holiday and you can stay with people you you save of course hotel costs so you can uh, put that money easy uh, easier in an, a more expensive rental Or you rent some camper. <laughs> the suburban escalator. Explorer. Explorer. Yeah, enough possibilities. Or an F-150 uh, Raptor. <laughs> so, maybe that's a bit overkill. Or I buy uh, like a delivery friend like uh, in the Borat movies. <laughs> that would be also funny. <laughs> but then people will think I'm an idiot. <laughs> 45, 44 miles per the gallon on the highway. How much is that kilometer? <laughs> yeah Raptor will uh, use a lot of fuel and if you have like the the, the buyer package you can even jump without any damage on, <laughs> on the car it's a uh, it's a crazy uh, crazy performance car so many pins in this build eighteen kilometers a liter oh that's nice my own car does do twelve yeah if I when I did Norway it was twelve liters uh or one kilometer yeah, one, nay, one liter for 12 kilometers and when with uh, just driving to my work it's more like one liter for 10 kilometers so it's not the most fuel efficient car <laughs> ah that's that's pretty uh, pretty nice uh, fuel consumption maybe Victor could be in Texas when we come down to visit you um, let, let's first see that the world is back to normal and we have no travel restrictions or any special travel rules so we can just have some uh, normal uh, way to uh, explore. 
So maybe it's in this year. No, it's not this year. Maybe next year, maybe the year after that. Someday we will make it happen. And even less parts are down on the desk, so the build is going very well. Text is back to normal. Uh, well, expect for the mask people, but they are going away. Oh, that's nice. So uh, I hope it can stay like that. <laughs> Here we're, we are not yet so far, but someday it will be back to uh, normal. And page 600, oh, page 392 and instruction 640. <laughs> we will smuggle you in. <laughs> I assembled the set very pleased. I hope uh, you will just as pleased. Yeah, I, uh, I enjoyed the set so far. It's uh, a really nice build. I only found one error in the book. But that was only an image that was wrong. So yeah, it's a nice, uh, nice set to build. And I didn't watch any videos about the functions, so I can uh, explore it all myself. Okay, four pins. And this piece Oh, I missed a step, this one, but this is an easy, uh, easy step. So put the stuff on here, it's becoming really huge, but a pretty nice uh, build so far. So let's see what we need to make now, arm like this. Um, block like this one pin two blue pins
<laughs> Have fun with all the yellow uh, parts. Greetings from Germany. <laughs> Greetings back. Yeah, yeah. I like uh, the yellow uh, Lego parts. I have al already a lot of Technic Lego parts in yellow, so this set really combines it. I don't really enjoy all the super weird colors because it's hard to combine with other sets. But yellow construction equipment always works well. And the first new Lego set that I bought uh, when I started again with playing with Lego, uh, what is it, S 18 years ago or something, that was also uh, a yellow set in the new style. That was the 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 back who uh, dicker. That was a pretty cool set with uh, ten pneumatic cylinders. So, next instruction, I think I will finish this build in this live stream. <laughs> I uh, tried to pass through in uh, in Procmox, but I couldn't get it working on my hardware setup. That was really a bummer. I had so also some good ideas with Windows 10 on it. I was making a video about it, but it failed, and I I don't have an end for that video because <laughs> it just was not working. So not sure if I will ever upload that. Because it's not really helping people if it's not working. Ah, nice. Uh, did he? What kind of equipment did he uh, drive around, uh, in, uh, or was he more only the mechanic? Because I think driving around uh, is part of the fun. But if you need to drive around hundred times over the same track uh, of like three kilometers, I think it will get really boring. And I think sometimes they drive even less than three kilometers a day or per run. I really hate this annoying pieces. The pins are super hard to put in. So yeah. Mm, yeah. 
yeah, from this side. My sister was a truck driver for 15 years. She retired. Her last job was with Toyota. Did she drive around cars or something? Okay, we need to put in more pins, but on what spot? Oh, on here. Okay, we now need to build a very long piece. And I'm running out of parts. So, yeah, I'm still working on it. It takes some more time than like, like such a um, little thicker thingy. <laughs> but I loved your, uh, your video uh, about uh, building the Lakos. Look, this is the truck right now. And this is the bucket that will go on here. So yeah, it's a uh, large truck with electric motors and uh, can be driven. Hi Pavel, how are you doing? Hi Victor, sorry if you have answered this question before in the other streams. I haven't watched them yet. <laughs> Don't watch them, they are just me building Lego. Is the LAN party going to be open for everyone or just friends or a difficult work? <laughs> no, I will uh, make it open for everyone that wants to join. So it's not for friends only, otherwise I wouldn't uh, like say it online. Oh, we're gonna make a LAN party. No, it will be for everyone and uh, probably uh, uh, DOS Gamer will also come and other uh, uh, famous uh, uh, retro YouTubers, I hope. Let's just make a cool event uh, together. Yeah, the Brain Drain LAN is also a good option. Yeah, you will uh, get a, a good uh, seat. Uh, one with balloons and slingers and... <laughs> uh, a special cast here <laughs> now we will make it work and uh, we will make it work that you if you want you can uh, live stream of the event uh, uh, I think that will be uh, just fun I'm not sure if I will live stream of the event because I probably have it very very busy but we will see what we can do there we will uh, make it possible yeah, we uh, we uh, need to see how we're going to do that. <laughs> and uh, have some nice beers and just have fun. And yeah, it, w it uh, will be a nice event when it's all possible again. So let's see. Does it look like the image? Yes. Next page. Two red pins and two yellow thingies. <laughs> Ex exactly the answer I was hoping for. Of course. I mean, we uh, gonna build it as a community. That is just fun. So, I just don't have uh, set plans yet because things need to be more normal again because there are. Uh, wants to be because there, uh, there are people from uh, outside of the Netherlands that wants to come so uh, it must be possible uh, I think somewhere in 2022 because this year I don't expect that it is possible and probably some location like the home computer museum or something like that but 
I didn't do any location scouting yet, so I need to see if the museum is uh, usable for what my plans are. Yes, indeed, uh, my quest. It must be just a fun event without restrictions, otherwise where's the fun? If it's, if it's possible, I will come to the Retro LAN party if I know the date and place. Yeah, if I, if I know it, I will, uh, of course, announce it. <laughs> yeah, a real LAN party. That is the plan. If the world is back to normal. <laughs> I bring Norton antivirus for MS DOS. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> but on the brain drain LAN, we didn't have uh, problems with any viruses. So I think we are safe. But just back up your retro uh, configuration if you want to be really safe. Because you never know what can happen. <laughs> Live stream the whole run? Uh, yeah, pro maybe not sure yet maybe a tour we we will see what we can uh, what we can do but it will be very busy for me if everything comes because of me i think also all people want to uh, talk with me so yeah if i think they just need to bring beer and then i can drink beer and talk with them <laughs> so not sure if I will have time for a live stream myself. Good luck with the build. Yeah, <laughs> it will be fine. <laughs> I, I think it can uh, go in every little street, this uh, Volvo truck. So uh, no worry. <laughs> I played three times on the brain uh, uh, tournament on the brain drain. Yeah, awesome. They, I, I like the idea of the, the offline LAN party. So maybe in the future I will do it also when I have like faster internet here. This is a really long piece, not sure <laughs> where it goes yet. Oh, I'm missing some pins here. Like this. And a big one here. I'm really running out of parts. I only have two wings left and some detail uh, stuff. So we are almost at the stage of the wheels. And now we need to make the wings. Oh, I think this is the bottom part where also the hinge is on. <laughs> yeah, the last lamp party was in the zeros. Hi, uh, Francisc, uh, Francisek. How are you doing? Welcome uh, by the live stream. Where I built this wonderful big uh, Volvo uh, truck.
same. I went to one LAN when Counter Strike 1.6 was a thing. Yeah, I played that uh, online back in the days. It was really fun. Like killing the whole team with your sniper rifle in close combat or in dust with your shotgun blowing up the whole team. <laughs> that was uh, that, that were good times. Too bad they we didn't uh, live stream that and uh, uh, or, or recorded it because they they were sometimes pretty epic fights. And sometimes it will also went completely wrong. So <laughs> that's the fun of uh, playing the games. Uh, this one. This one and this one. Okay. We're gonna. Two more of those arms. Where do they go? Or oh, they go here? Okay, now we take the big bucket, turn it over, and let's figure out where it goes, or are there any options, or is it just, yeah, it's just one spot where it can go. Okay, this is like the subframe under it, and here we have the the back piece that needs to go in here. Like this, but we probably need to put in some pins. So here in the front we need to put in a pin that locks everything in place okay oh and we need to make a rear lights on the model some somewhere Okay, we need to put in the red pins here, that locks the bottom frame onto the bucket. It's a pretty sturdy uh, configuration. <laughs> being, <laughs> being adult became more important than LAN parties. That's why just don't grow up. Don't go into adulthood. <laughs> okay, let's see. We have some really long pins that we need to put in. Like this, that secures the back end of the tray so it's sturdy. I really like this bucket. I think they made a really good design. Good parts, standard parts that you can really use in all kinds of builds. So Ah, we need to make rear lights. Uh, but first, be right back.
I'm back. Got to start on the internet with OS X Warp. Nice. Yeah, OS X is, uh, I think, really forgotten nowadays. But it was a cool OS. It just wasn't so successful and not that uh, big of a software uh, catalogus. It it would would be nice if it was still around as a viable options for other OSs. Just that not only Windows is the main OS that that you also could uh, choose to so call OS X or yeah of course you now also have Linux and stuff like that. But just more options would be always great. I think the rear lights are really the last part and then we need and uh, put the cylinder on the right spot. And these are the headlights. It's a little bit basic design but it will do. I uh, remember about Linux that they said from yeah every time it will become better and better and next year it will be uh, super and <laughs> and that w and you hear that every year <laughs> or with the wine uh, with uh, like the the Windows uh, uh, that you could run Windows software yeah every time next and soon uh, with the next update will be better and every time you hear it and it didn't improve that much <laughs> let's see we're gonna put a bucket on the model that's audio uh, why is the uh, audio is rip is it gone why is it gone uh, do you still hear it now the audio meter is uh, put working here. Some issues with the mic. Is it still not working? The, uh, very bad. That's strange. Maybe there's a Volvo truck parked on it. Uh, how is this? Does this help? Robotic sound. <laughs> ah, why does why do we have technical problems? Uh, let's go in OBS. How's the sound now? It's
So, how is the sound now? Because now the audio module is reset it. So I hope it helps. So let me know. <laughs> yeah, still bad. How is is it is it is it fixed? Perfect audio. Okay. Uh, this Windows 10 laptop is really crappy for streaming, probably. <laughs> Maybe I need to reinstall OBS and stuff. So, yeah, that's not fun. Uh, where did we go in the book? Uh, okay, we have the rear lights. And now we need to put the bucket on the model. <laughs> Thanks, Unky. Uh, so let's see. I think it needs to go like this. Then when we tip, yes. This works. So. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to put uh, the headlights on the bucket. Uh. Oh, with the annoying pins again. Oh, this one worked. That's fine. So now the next step is connecting the cylinders to the bucket. So they will go in here and then this pin will go in here. And that secures the cylinder to the side of the bucket. And now the other cylinder on this side. <laughs> uh, the laptop is pretty fine and not much on it, but maybe the OBS installation is also a bit old. Wow, it looks really amazing. With a big bucket on it. And I can't wait to put, see it on the wheels. So. Huh? The, did I forget to put. I forget a step. The side. The, the side skirt ah yes wait <laughs> I missed a step I need to put on those but I think they are uh, the models prepared for it oh and then the mirrors so we first gonna put it on and then we go to put the mirrors on that looks really nice now the other side put the mud card on <laughs> you are good at it I'm good at this uh, following the instructions of this. If I would build a model like this, it would uh, use the old style Leco instead of this uh, style of Leco. Uh, 
Okay. That's done. So we need to do the the awesome step of putting the wheels on it. So I really like these big wheels. They are amazing. They have really good grip. They, they don't look silly. It's just yeah, really awesome. And these uh, tires are easier to put on the rim than Unimog uh, tires. So that's already done. Now Lego is pretty easy. The instructions are really good step by step, piece by piece. So if you mess this up, you have a problem with yourself. <laughs> I love those wheels and they are really also that they can uh, yeah how do you say it they are soft enough it's not a hard wheel In theory, you could uh, fill them up with air if you would <laughs> want to. That would be funny to air up the Lego tires. Very nice. It's, is it remote controlled? Yeah, uh, you can use a phone app to remote control it over Bluetooth. So I think we're gonna try that out uh, when the model is finished. I'm really curious if that works well and how easy it is to install the software and yeah let's see how user friendly they made it but the problem with uh, an app like this is what about 15 20 25 years can we still run this software and control the module or is it then just a static module that we can't use anymore So with older Lego they had a proprietary control box and you can still use that but this is just different. So we're gonna put wheels on the model. So line them up. Let's first do the front end. It looks already amazing. I never as a kid had wheels this big. They also didn't have them yet. So it's just amazing how big the Lego sets uh, became and that it is still possible to make nice looking modules uh, that are so huge with good tires. And the last wheel. Awesome. I think it's in the drive gear, so. <laughs> That's not handy in the in the build. And then we have the wheel hubs. So we first need to put in some tiny axles. Yes, true, let's hope for that. I think we we will figure it out together to keep all things uh, running. Yes, 
maybe we can like make simulation modes with an, a special uh, Bluetooth box that has all the old protocols. Ah, nice. They are already figuring it out. That's good. Since you are an Unimog driver, don't air them up. Put them firmly on the rim with hairspray and a lighter. Uh, I don't gonna blow up a tire in my face. You don't. That is no. The if it's oh, uh, uh, the the difficulty is it to get it over the 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 part here on the rim because the tires are so stiff. So blowing it up with hairspray and a lighter doesn't help for that. Okay, the, the caps uh, on the end of the rims are a little bit stupid because if you put in the axles they are going too deep. And then you need to push them out, install the hub. Last one. Okay, I can pull this out by hand. Push it in. It really looks like an amazing uh, model. Th this part is a little bit flimsy. <laughs> But it has some uh, wheel travel. So, is this every step done? Yes, it is. Okay. Let's uh, make some room on the table. So we can see if we can get it uh, driving. So let's uh, get the box out of the way. And read the instructions. Leco Technic Control Plus. Check compatibility and fact device check. Uh, I think I need to go to an app store. Uh, where is it? I don't use the app store that much. Uh, play music, play store. You need a quite a bit of space to let the motors calibrate themselves. We will see how that goes. <laughs> Lego Technic Control Plus. 
install. Let's uh, get it installed. It's still installing. Oh, open. Open. Leco Technic. Control Plus. Okay, we can select in the app what model we have. So uh, Volvo A60H. And then we click on the model. And now it's loading. I'm a proud Volvo V70 owner. Nice. Now I don't gonna put the stickers on the model. Because I never do that. Because when I uh, gonna build a model myself. I don't want to have all the stickers on it. So let's turn on the thing. Uh, they even want to know my location, but that is fine. Bluetooth on. Uh, yes, location on. Press the green button. Connecting. Oh, it's now blue the light. New firmware firmware available. Please update. Okay. Updating firmware. Please stay on on the screen. At least it is nice that it automatically can uh, update the firmware. But on the other hand. You need to deal with firmware updates. And the old Lego sets were just working. <laughs> so uh, let's show the truck in a better angle. And if we're gonna drive, we will just crash into the in the ground. <laughs> Yes, it's a nice looking model. And uh, really nice that they really put effort in the shape of it. And you can pull out this pin. And then open the front. Open the bonnet. Put this pin here. So put it here. And then you can see the engine and the cooling and the hoses and the air filter and the exhaust pipe here. So that's a nice detail. And if you turn the steering wheel also turns. Is the app in five years still available? That's the question. Let's hope so, otherwise this module is really fastly out of date. I wonder if Lego could be adopted so you could build real life working, real working full size trucks. <laughs> I'm not sure if they will go even bigger than this. Okay, firmware updated. Next. Okay. Press the button and uh, to press the button on the control box you can turn the beacon connecting. Okay, it makes sound. Let's set up your mo model. Wait, we need one meter both ways? My table is one meter. It's not one meter. <laughs> it's not uh, two meters, but less. 
So let's see. Let's see if it's going to work. I, I don't think we need to have the manual again. So let's put that away. Calibrating. Wow, it's working. It's now figuring out what it can do. It's making noises. I have the old Lego control center. It doesn't need a meter yet. <laughs> Look, without hands. Okay, that was the care box. So we have two speeds. At least all the mechanics are working for so far. What does it? Oh, it's now turning the function uh, in the gear box. <laughs> yeah, self-driving Lego. It's just amazing. Okay, completed. Visit a mechanic when maintenance is needed. Learn to operate a Volvo. Oh, you can set the care box in drive or one or two. Oh, set position D. Use this. Use the control throttle and steering. Okay, this is pretty cool. Wait, let's make my screen brighter. Oh, you can you can drive really one-handed. So, I can drive over my my laptop and back. This is just fun. Yeah, the, I need to check the care boxes. There's some weird noise. But there's also that it... I think it says an automatic care box. Okay. Because now it's on drive, but you can also select the, f the second gear. The, so that's fast. Let's put the model on a bit more here. So that is fast driving. And then you can go to one. And that is the slow driving. Yeah, this is cold for us here in the studio. Okay. Deep position again. Drive forward. I don't have room to drive forward. So drive forward. Oh, you can also put it in uh, gear that it doesn't shift. Okay. Oh, when idle, 
this body and lower this lift and lower the dump body. It doesn't do anything. Okay, the dump function is not working. Uh, it has a triple and a double A batteries. Yeah, yeah, you have a care box with two uh, things and it has automatic function. But the thing doesn't work. So I need to see how I can <laughs> get it, uh, how I can get the dumper box off to double check what's going on. Maybe I can put it upside down. This axle here is not turning. Yeah, it would be nice if they have like a battery with USB-C charging. That would also be better for the environment. Okay, the dump function is not working. Okay, I want to uh, get out of this modus. <laughs> you can fill your bucket up. Oh, and then and then dump it. Complete. Okay. I need to uh, see how I gonna cut the bucket off. I think you have it in park mode. But it is, uh, it is standing. It's now neutral. And the care box is switching, so... Let's put in drive. Okay. Okay, I need to uh, find a Technic Lego Axel so I can push out the pins. The pins here are pushed in. Oh wait, I have this uh, orange one. Let's put in neutral. No, let's push out the 
pin here. Take it to the servers. <laughs> yeah, call the mechanic. Indeed. Okay. We can now. <laughs> Okay, now we can see the care box and see what's going on. Oh wait, <laughs> there is an, look, there's a, an, an care missing, but I don't have a spare care. What happened here? Because the other functions they work. I need to get the manual. Yeah, I. <laughs> now you can also use sound. Uh, if we press this do we turn it off or let's see why there's no care there um yeah I'm missing a red care here, but why is it not there? And where did I put it in the model? How many red cares did we get with the model? Uh, no, I don't didn't uh, mount it the wrong way. The, but there's just no care here. Okay, we have eight gears. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, one, two. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven. Hey, where did the gear go? Did it fall? I hope not. Okay, see you later Uncle jo Uncle Joe. Thanks uh, for joining the live stream. Yeah, there are eight gears in the model. But is there a gear doing nothing? That gear... Ah, oh, this is terrible. <laughs> the one on the the one here in the front. This one. But then we still need to have another gear here.
Let's see. Under the cabin. No, but under the cabin there are not the red tears. It must be somewhere here. Okay, the first one <laughs> is somewhere. <laughs> oh, this is terrible that it is just hidden away. Get the mirror off so we can put on the side. Um. Okay, that one. That one is in. Under the cabin. Don't know the size. Did you check the plus? Yes, but uh, I checked. There are eight gears in the model, and there are eight gears. Oh wait, this gear. I think we have a gear here on a spot. Uh oh, I found the gear. I swapped two parts around. <laughs> Oh, I need to take out the gear box. Oh, this is terrible. Troubleshooting. Hi, uh, Lacha, sir. How are you? You you come on the wrong moment because everything uh, went wrong here. <laughs> we need to fix the gear box. I hope I don't have to rebuild it completely. But I'm worried that it is really difficult to take this apart. <laughs> yeah, see you later. And I tried to double check everything every time when I was building, but still it didn't work out. Yeah, good, uh, <laughs> good plan uh, to work on those cards. What I hope is that I can take the rear end off like this okay and then slide the rear out Okay, that gear is clear where it goes. Okay, this axle needs a fix. This wrong piece is now off, and I need to take out this axle. Ah, ah, yes.
Okay. We cut the right gear now. <laughs> yeah, go for a walk. No worry. I, I will fix this. <laughs> it just needs some uh, some carefulness. But here we have the right gear. That can go on here and we can put it back. Because when we now switch it. Yeah, I think I uh, I can fix this. <laughs> I just need to see if I can put it back together. Okay, align this thing. No, it's really difficult to <laughs> to get it back together. Ah. And now this one. goes to plan <laughs> nothing to worry about <laughs> okay that one is back uh, yes this can go back then we can put this thing back What? Something wrong with the video? Oh, hmm. Yeah, the live stream is not that stable. Not sure why. But I think I can fix the model. I just need to bend some Lego. <laughs> Let's see what it does now. Turn on the green button. Connecting. Battery is full. Okay. Driving mode. Ah, yes. Look. Wait, can I hold it like this? This is normal that they don't extend because they are now in the zero mode and only when you hold them, probably when I hold one. Yes. Now 
now let's see does it still drive yes it still steers Oh, of course, I need to put it in drive, otherwise... Oh wait, this is normal because we have the differential, so if I hold it... There's something. Oh, huh? oh no! <laughs> I put the the gear on the wrong spot here, so I need to take the rear part off again. But I will fix it. <laughs> It just uh, it's the fun of playing with Lego. And now more gears are falling out. Yeah, that's not good. Oh no. <laughs> Let's first put back the driving gear. Okay. Oh, the gears are on those axles, so they are not too hard to fix. Okay, put the gear in. Put the other gear back in and one gear is already dropping. <laughs> Hold it in place. <laughs> Push it forward. The fun of fixing Lego. Um, are you all silently watching me struggle, or <laughs> or did you just got so bored that you just turned off the stream? <laughs>
Okay, the drivetrain is operational again. That helps. <laughs> still there, just no use for comments. <laughs> I still, li I like what you are doing, but it looks like too much to handle. Now, I'm fine. I mean, uh oh. Okay, the gear is rotated. Um, so I need to fix this gear here because it needs to have a certain uh, way <laughs> how it's positioned. Yeah. Oh, oh, you you gonna wait uh, the walk? But just go out and <laughs> and and get your dog some attention. No worries. So, okay, here is it. So the top of it needs to align with this top. And uh, okay, yeah, it's now uh, not on the right spot. So we need to take <laughs> out this bar again and this bar. And maybe if we pull it like this. Okay, switch it over to this side. Let's turn off the model. Okay, models turned off. <laughs> okay, that is. Okay, let's uh, try it again. Batteries in, connecting. Okay, that's now working. Steering works, put it in drive. Okay, it uh, will work again. <laughs>
Hiya, Damien. How are you doing? <laughs> Good to see you from Poland. I think Let's see where how this this bar go on. Okay, like this, and then we have the pins that fly around. Are the axles spinning at the same RPM? Yeah, one is uh, uh, spinning less fast right now, but it feels kind of smooth, but I still just need to uh, get everything aligned with this bar and then test that out. Because these uh, bars keep the uh, boxes here on the right spot so maybe it's a misaligning but we can uh, check that uh, now yes it was a misaligning because now all the wheels are just turning And if I hold one of the differentials, it all works. So, can we just shut up? Does it turn off when I go out of it? Okay. This is going to work. So, let's put the wheels back on. Yes, I think now the rotation speeds are fine. But we can check with the wheels, then we have some load on it. And I just need to hold here the, the front prop shaft. Okay, drive. Yes, the care box is working. Now we need to connect the, the head unit back on the model. So...
okay, and now the top pins. Now we can put the cable thingy back on the on its place with a little bit slack for the steering. Battery door in place. Take the bucket back. Okay, the wheels in. Reconnect the cylinders. And the last cylinder, and then <laughs> we can see if uh, the fix helped. Okay, turn on the model. Okay, this is not that smooth, but maybe because of the cylinders that are new. But at least it's working. I need to double check the care box here in the front, but at least we can do that now with the bucket open. Okay, see you later. Thanks for uh, joining the stream. It was uh, fun to have you. Yeah, it really looks amazing. Yeah, I was thinking the same. So we need to find a good load for it. Uh, let's see what I, uh, I have here around. I have found a load where I can, which I can drop. 
So, let's first lower the bucket. Yeah, it's working. That helps. Okay, let's load up some. Let's load up some data. Auto office floppies. And they are not that lightweight, so not sure if it can handle this kind of load. Let's put in drive. Okay. It drives with the weight. Put a HP network gear on it. Maybe it can drive to the LAN party. <laughs> Do a couple of old hard drives. <sighs> I think I need to put Mac parts in it. Okay. There it goes. Okay. This is some serious power. The load is shifting. It works. Maybe, maybe I have an a hard drive that fits in. What is this? Oh, a 40 gigabyte SATA hard drive. I don't care about a 40 gigabyte SATA hard drive. That is the. That is like way too small to do anything on it. And why should you put 40 gigabyte SATA in a computer? Okay, it has some power. <laughs> uh, wait, did I have something put under it? No. <coughs> it's a 40 gigabyte SATA hard drive. I don't mind that. Yes, this cat is from the from the auto. I bought them on Marktplatz. But it's a quite powerful model. Let's load it up with more data. <laughs> it it works but barely. <laughs> The hard drive is stuck. <laughs> You're gonna hear the battery struggling now, yes. And to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, Lego drivetrains. If I build them, they are way, way stronger. But let's see how it handles some 
wait while driving. Maybe find another hard drive or happy object. Here an 80 gigabyte SATA drive. Also not the most interesting piece in my collection. That's quite heavy. So, let's uh, I need to have an obstacle to drive over. Here, Windows 7 Premium. Or Home Premium. So. Okay, the drivetrain is uh, a little bit on the weak side and I almost drove off the cliff here. There's a uh, gear skipping. Maybe it's a little bit overloaded. <laughs> You are all so quiet, so <laughs> is it so boring? <laughs> Me playing with the Lego truck? Otherwise maybe I can end the stream uh, or, or maybe we can chat a little bit more. Just let me know what you like. Yes, I have three weeks of uh, work, so uh, that's why I uh, have the whole day to stream uh, this uh, this build. But I don't think the Lego drivetrain is just that strong. Okay, at least this goes a little bit smoother now. But I want to know which thing is skipping. It has quite a lot of power.
check. Yeah, the diffs looks fine. Need a way to add the mode system to the old Coke card. I think you can do that. So it can climb an obstacle. Only now the <laughs> the floppy uh, will. Uh, uh, the nose is so long and the floppy will uh, get stuck under it. Let's climb. Okay. Ah, it's also stuck again. At least there's a lot of power in it, but all the differentials are open, so that doesn't help with driving around. Like here, two, two wheels are lifted, all the power is gone. I think the clicking is comes from out of the gearbox. Okay, the drivetrain is pretty decent, only the gearbox can't, un can't handle all the power. And if I build models, my gearboxes are super, super strong. Okay, if it shifts to low gear, it will handle the obstacle. Yes, but it's it's okay right now. And the open diff doesn't help with off-roading. The truck is pretty powerful. Yeah, the gearbox is uh, not the uh, not the smoothest. If if I build a gearbox, I really find the right axles that run smoothly. So yeah, you can really have it perfectly running. But I use old style Lego bricks. They are much stiffer than this system. But 
in general, I really like this set. Can we turn it off with this button? The differentials itself are pretty strong, so that works fine. Also good pushing power. The batteries were new, but also already a little bit older, so... Yeah, they should be fine. And the battery meter on the phone says just uh, full power, so that's not an uh, not an issue. Yeah, I like this set. So, uh, anything else you want to talk about? Yeah, this uh, drop online when you think we can do the AA5 thing we spoke about. Yeah, let's just wait till we can travel without any tests and stuff like that. So, uh, see you later. Does the bed oxidate a little bit when uh, you lower it? Mine does. Uh, what What do you mean with oxidate? What's that? <laughs> Already uh, a two hour stream. <laughs> That's a long time. Uh, oh, almost three hours. Yeah, there's still a lot of the the system is just is pretty powerful. Only when there's a lot of load on the uh, engines, they run really uh, slow. But it is a fun model and really good working. Only there's a little bit of a lot of play here, and the. Uh, the suspension travel is decent, but I missed seeing some suspension travel in the rear. Yes, 
It uh, bumps a little bit. Oh, let's uh, show you the motor in operation. Because it has some valve heads that are moving around if you drive with it. That helps a little bit with off-roading. The suspension is not working right for it without diff locks. Hi Bob. Yeah, it's working. And here you can see the parts in the engine moving. It's a little bit weird that there's no valve cover. No, I uh, didn't put the stickers on it and I don't gonna do that because I, I don't like to have the stickers on it when I uh, someday we'll just rebuild the model to something else so I never put stickers on it because I don't really believe in show models I just want to have the part someday to build something else maybe a nice uh, 6x6 off-road truck that would be really great and I would way better axles than this uh, axles and then you can put some real power on it yeah, and the model looks really good. So yeah, I think it's worth 250 euros because it keeps its value and you got some wonderful uh, parts. But I'm not sure if you can uh, uh, do other models with or your own models with this system. Uh, the link with oh, that's the help um what if we load up an other other thing from another truck let's see what it says mm. ah incorrect port connections detected please fix it <laughs> so it can detect what uh, what it does so I need to figure it out how you can use it on your own models yeah you, you, you <laughs> Tom go out with your dog <laughs> that uh, that's better because I think I will end the live stream here it's a great model and uh, it was fun to build it while uh, chatting with all of you so uh, not sure when I will do this again or if I will ever do it again but it was a great experience and I have a really great Lego model here now so uh, yeah if you like to support me you can support me monthly on patreon and uh, use uh, and then you can access for one dollar a month to my uh, discord server where we can uh, chat around and uh, where where I say uh, like uh, I'll talk about new plans and things like that so 
if you are interested in that please uh, join me there and check out my other channels especially my Unimog channel because I now have registered uh, youtube.com slash unimog404 it was still free and I crept it I was thinking wait nobody crept this as a custom URL and now I have it so please check that out and uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you later okay Robert nice to see you okay bye Tom Rene Bob Brittany uh, and the rest is already gone probably <laughs> so uh, yeah see you later